In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own brushes and Kali pet. You'll need to create a brush, press the brush button to obtain the different brushes. And then you press the plus button to create a new brush. It'll be called new tool. Customize your brush, double tap your new brush. First thing we have is smoothing. This helps uh, limit your hesitancy and lines and the jitteriness. It also is really good for inking and markers for when you're doing line art. Next we have spacing. This is really good for um, sparkling effects. However, you can't randomize this spacing. It creates like gaps in the brush line or jitteriness. So let's try it out. This one is my favorite. It's called Color Mix and the definition is in its name. It makes it co it mixes colors. So, it gives it a painterly effect and you can increase it or decrease it. It's also really nice and it makes the brush seem more uh, realistic. The re-inject colors makes your brush more resistant to a color mixing. So the more you increase it, the more your brush, the color that you chose is resistant to mixing with the other color, if that makes sense. The wet brush makes the brush look give it more of a watery effect or a watercolor effect. And I also noticed that it kind of makes it more resistant to color mix and that's my observation. So you want to see two screens that shows two different, two different observations. The cool thing about Key Paint is that when you turn it on, let's say you have one color and you run your brush through another color, your brush will pick up that different color. So if you have a red color right now and you run your brush through a blue color, your brush will pick up a blue color. So it's like an easy way to kind of like mix and change your colors really fast and it got really cool uh, features 
like if you you can kind of like switch up the features a bit with like having mix in together if you increase or decrease the re-inject color and the other brush features. Here's more on how keeping paint works as well. I also noticed that by decreasing the re-inject color, when you run your brush through the color, other colors, your brush will pick up on that color that it ran through. And also by um, changing the levels of color mix and re-inject color, it like affects it. So it's really good to just um, play around with this feature. You'll see two screens showing um, the dry aspect of the brush. Basically, when you have dry, the more pressure you apply to the screen, if you're using an Apple Pencil, it'll change the opacity. However, when you don't have dry, let's say you turn your opacity down to 50, your opacity will only be at 50 unless you overlap that color. Also, the dry brush prevents color mixing. This feature is pretty straightforward. This only works if you if you have an Apple Pencil. So even, ha even if you have like a Logitech pencil or stylus, Polypay is not gonna recognize that as a stylus with this version. So this only works with Apple Pencil. So basically this is um, pressure. So the more pressure you apply to the screen, the thicker the, your brush gets, the less pressure, the thinner your brush gets. I also think this works um, the opposite way, you can set it the opposite way. I didn't show it here because I wasn't able to duplicate that. So yeah. You can also set your settings, your brush settings, where your brush, the more pressure you apply to the screen, the more, uh, the more opacity your brush has and the less pressure you apply to the screen, the less opacity your brush has. There's only works with Apple Pencil because again, Kalipeg, with this version of Kalipeg, it doesn't recognize any other stylus as like a stylus with, with pressure sensitivity. So you only have to have an Apple Pencil and this doesn't work with your finger.